Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front end development. In today's video, we'll sit down and we'll review three award winning websites. We'll have a look under the hood of three websites of the day from awards.com. And I thought it would be a cool idea to just review the awards.com and see what's currently hot, what were some of the sides of the day, side of the week, side of the month, whatever the current trends are. So let's have a look at the awards.com and see what the side of the day is November 4, 2017. Let's visit the website and we'll see Andre Ribeiro. Ribeiro? Ribeiro looks like, what was it? Uh, go first. How do we get to the first step? I missed the first page. Oh, looks like it plays automatically and I don't know how to go to the previous one. So I don't think this is the best user experience, but it looks pretty cool. Looks like designer's website. And I actually like the transition between the steps, but I would like to see some navigation that I can go easily back to the first one. Okay, so it stays on for five or six seconds and they, then it transitions to the next slide. And looks like all this is done using CSS transitions. So let's have a look if we have some JavaScript animations. And looks like there is a gallery gallery wrapper that's for mobile. And inside of here, there's only a couple of classes changing on the cover. So I don't think this is JavaScript animation. Looks like it's a CSS animation, Squarespace after body load. Okay, so the site is on Squarespace actually. So it is not a custom build. It looks like it's on a Squarespace. Uh, our mission is to empower users offering accessible technology, high quality design. Okay, learn more. Let's see what the project detail page looks like. And I like the clean side, clean, a lot of white space, which is pretty cool. And again, I would like to see I clicked on the detail before, why it didn't take me to the detail page? Oops. That's weird, before it didn't go to the detail page, which is strange. Now we've got the preloader growing from the left to right. So all in all, quite interesting concept. No page refreshes and preloading of images and assets, which is cool. Scrolling down, there are no effects. Oh yeah, there there was an effect, so everything fades in while we're scrolling down. But the one thing which I don't like is there's no scroll bar. Okay, it's it's a overflow hidden on the body, and then we need to scroll manually, which sometimes I just like like the scroll bar and scroll a little bit faster than with the mouse. Okay, here's a go up button, but yeah, the missing scroll bar is definitely not my favorite feature and but I really like the clean design clean design big images and that's what makes this site stand out now let's have a look at the at another winner so let's have a look at winner side of the day from few days ago which one we're gonna look at I like maps so let's have a look at this website your your beyond awaits by the guys at Kinship, Kinship from France, which was the November 3rd, so it was yesterday, side of the day. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, now it's loaded and, no, it's still loading. <laughs> so a little bit load, a little bit longer waiting. Looks like it's Mitsubishi Motors website. There was some initial CSS displaying the font, the flickering, which might not be the best, best user experience, but it's still loading. So I guess there will be a lot of videos and a lot of images on this site. And given it's Mitsubishi Motors, it might be a lot of, lot of these high quality videos. Oh, here it is, okay. So, alrighty. I like the, the videos, but the problem is, hang on, let me mute it. Oops. Oh, okay. So there was no way to mute it straight away, which I don't really like. Okay. So if you're using a website and if you're putting video on it, make sure that 
it's maybe not played by default or and if it is played then at least mute the sound because imagine if i was checking this out at work in the office then it might be disturbing for others okay so i don't i'm not a big fan of playing the video straight on load with the sound on but the video itself was brilliant but then when i tried to mute it it actually paused it and skipped to the next section so again a little bit confusing navigation but let's see how we scroll down episode one how we navigate this one okay cool here is the map yeah i like the, i like the visual navigation through the map that's pretty cool and looks like it's traveling between cities where the episode's happening and try outlander pre outland outlander preview okay what is this using this is using green sock so if, as you can see in the in in uh, in the icons the green sock icon is on the g sub sniffer so the site is using green sock for the animations and i guess there must be three js for the map and for some of the background effects so let's have a look at it search for canvas canvas here yeah, there it is there's a canvas and if i hide it we'll see the map gone okay so the map is definitely on on canvas and i'll put it back in cool animation on the canvas and that's pretty much it okay so we can we can actually navigate just by scrolling down and the path on the map is is growing as well okay that's pretty cool here is indication how far between the steps between the episodes we are and that's how we navigating this website favorite hamburger menu oops this is cool it reveals some background video oh is it the same video it is it is the same video but it's just revealing parts of it and again we'll check if it's if it's a canvas or if it's pure background okay so there's a background texture whoops opening a tab there's a texture but it's revealing something behind it okay so where is the video behind it before no wrapper align let's find okay here it is maybe it's this hide it and see if we okay we ha we did hide the element that covers the video yep okay so this is the white white element or the solid background element and on it there are some effects that are covering or revealing the video behind it okay so quite cool effect and if we close it go back to the side let's go to one of the detail pages discover nice transition play video i guess that opens full screen yep that's a cool video place from youtube but again can i mute it because when i clicked on it last time it actually took me somewhere okay it is a google uh, it is a it is a youtube player but i can't see anywhere to mute it okay so there's no controls which is a shame because i can't mute the video from the website i would have to mute my computer so it would be cool to have some controls to mute it but all in all interactive website which shows the preview of the outlander try outlander so let's try it where where does this take you i am in let's say there's no australia let's go to czech republic and that takes me to book a test drive i guess yes Testovací jízda, book a test drive in Czech Republic. So it looks like in Australia I can't use the site, but a lot of motor or a lot of auto manufacturers, car manufacturers, they have this full on interactive website to showcase their cool new cars. Okay, and the third item we'll look at today 
Let's have a look at this FedEx soundtrack. FedEx soundtrack from Media Monks from Netherlands. Let's open a new window. Again, side will load a while because by the sound of it, soundtrack, there will be some music playing. Turn up the volume for the best experience. Okay, so I'll turn it up. And where do I click now? Introducing FedEx soundtrack. Oops, that was quick. Play your soundtrack. Okay, get started. Enter FedEx tracking number. Okay. I don't have one, so let's create one. Create, oops. Clicked on the create a so or create a soundtrack when you don't have the FedEx number, discovery type, delivery type, create a package. Okay, so just okay. I have to click on. Oops, where do I enter the delivery type? Yeah, Express. That's cool. I like it. That's that's definitely a canvas effect. Weight and dimensions, select this. And location, we are sending it to New York. Okay, we selected New York. How do I continue? Yeah, we selected New York. How do I select it? Click on it. And why can I not? Continue. Oh, I needed to go from one location to the other. So maybe it was probably written here, but I didn't see it. Select the beginning and for your shipment. Okay, so let's go from New York to Florida. Oh, Miami. Yep. Continue. Continue. Oops. Hold on while we are getting the sound tracking ready. So I'm holding on. The side is using green sock again, as you can see in the top right. The icon of the green sock sniffer is on. So sounds, oh, definitely this is using green sock for the animations and I guess 3JS and canvas for the cool icons transitions. Finalizing style. Okay, so this is still loading, loading, loading. And we should see some interactive, cool soundtrack. Composing melody. Determine length based on two flights and three ground, whatever. Changing tone based on cold in Memphis. Finalizing. Okay, so looks like we are getting there. And soon we should see the soundtrack or hear the soundtrack. So I'm curious to see what the transition will be looking like and the final animation as well. Come on guys, give me the final soundtrack. Oops, this is taking a while. This is taking a while. Again, it goes in a circles. Come on. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure if this is gonna end or not. It looks like it's going in a circle between the five stages. Oops. And here it is. Package dimensions. Shipment created. Wow. That's cool. Oops. This is cool. I like that. Alrighty, so it shows how the package goes from New York to Miami. Where it's shipped to, where it's flying, and how it's delivered. Whoa, very cool interactivity. I'm sure there's a lot of data, a lot of work behind this, so well done to the website of the day from FedEx. And let's see how the final destination looks like travel finished okay so this is the final delivery 
And that's it all for today. Hope you've enjoyed this breakdown of three award-winning websites and let me know if there is another site you want me to look at in the future videos and let me know in the comments what do you think about the format where I'm on the screen for the whole duration of the videos. I've got a new green screen setup that lets me do exactly that. So let me know in the comments if you like it or not and I'll see you in my future videos. Until then, happy coding. Bye.